Tips on number one, tips on training for you for quite some time. Okay. Um, Batman used to train out of my garage, but I didn't have a scooter. No. Yeah, he used to train my dungeon in garage for my 16. Okay. But just so you guys can kind of get an idea a little bit about what I'm talking about. Um, and we'll, we'll move this around and show it to you at different angles. But let's say check out the haymaker on Okay, here, bang. Okay, this, this is what I'm thinking, right? So this is my basic block. Very easy enough, you throw that punch. I turn this into a strike, okay? Boom, we'll around so you can see this. Okay. This is easy. I don't have to take a lot of thought to do this, to do this technique. All I have to do is wait for him to commit to a strike, bang. And where can I send this? My choice, I can be nice and send it here, or I can be not nice and send it here, right? Okay. Very easy. This is what I like to call like an oh shit move. I don't see it until the last second, it goes, bang, I've got it here, okay? From here, I've got elbows that I can land, okay? Knees right down, and it's setting up knee to the head. Okay, it's all about like for me, you know, knees and elbows to the dome in a survival scenario because nobody takes knees and elbows to the dome, and it's too, it's, it's just, it's you can get so much power without having to expend a lot of energy. Okay, so I want to show you this. So let's say you throw like a like a straight, this is straight right to me. Okay, right. Yeah, so you throw this kind of from a ring style option for this. I'm gonna parry this and land a kick, and then back back off right or try to find something. Throw it again. Okay. Bang, bang. And this is a ring style option, right? The survival scenario often is this, he throws, okay? I let his punch meeting his life form. So whatever he sends to me, I want to hurt. Bam, I want to send this damage. Bang to here, okay? Now, I, I like takedowns, but only after I soften him up a lot. <laughs> now that he's softened up, okay? I can start to drop all kinds of stuff on him and have fun with it. <laughs> the difference between a competitive scenario and a competitive style fighting and a survival style fight. Okay. Once again, he throws that same strike here. Competitive. Okay. He throws again. So here, I want to be nice here. Here. Okay. Once I've gotten that, now I can start to take it down, turn his head around. Once again, we're here again. Okay. Tim's a big guy. Okay. In order for Tim to control any of you ladies out here, okay, do a lot of women's self-defense. He can't do that with his feet together. He's got no power. Like this, in order to control me. If you grab me, control me, he's a strong guy. He's got to spread his feet apart and get some weight, which actually always opens me up, okay, to the kick to the groin. Really easy. If I can't get it, I'll open him up. Okay? Okay? Just so you guys can kind of understand where this is going. From the same scenario, and he's right, he put it up here, he's grabbing me, short, sharp elbows from this. Make a lot of difference. Okay? Once again, once I've got him here and he's softened up, then sure, I'll take him down to the ground. Then I can do all sorts of fancy stuff on him and stuff like that if I want to. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Any questions?